Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. Today looking at how to fix a little problem that says Windows is checking for a solution to the problem. Usually pops up when your program crashes. Starts a service up that you really, really don't need. And it's very easy to disable. There's three different ways. However, most of you are going to find you can disable it here right in service and it's very, very easy to do. The other two steps are more for advanced users. So if you just want to disable it quick, let me show you how. It'll get you right out of here in a matter of a minute or two. Let's open up services. Press your Windows key plus R, brings up the run dialog, and type in services.msc, just like that. And what you want to do is scroll way down and find your Windows, I think it's the error reporting service. It is. Windows error reporting service, there it is right there. And if you haven't used services much, you can line your mouse over it, you can read over here to see some different information. But if you double click it, you get everything in one screen as you can see. So all you wanna do is by default, it's probably manual, meaning it pops up as needed. And it's probably stopped. If for some reason it's running, which is a possibility, it's something wrong with it, go ahead and click stop before we do anything. And then click right here under startup type where it says manual and switch it to disabled. Click on apply. Click on OK, and you are all set. You won't have to look at that annoying little pop-up window anymore. So for most people, you're free to take off. But if you're curious or and more of an advanced user, we can use Group Policy Editor and we can use Registry Edit. Kind of neat because you can mass deploy it. You can take it with you, etc. So as you can see, here's Group Policy Editor. You're going to want to, again, press the Windows key plus R and do GP Edit. Dot msc go ahead and press enter and we'll move this down a little bit so i can read my own writing this guy will be linked to as always in the video description you might have to expand to see the link as you can see here computer configurations administrative templates so we'll expand right there move this over so we can see windows components and scroll down to Windows Error Reporting. This one's a little bit different than what we just did. You actually are gonna have two settings here. Let me show you. And they are explained right here. And it's weird because you have Disable Windows Error Reporting, which is right here. And when you double click these, it'll give you an explanation of how things work. So, as you can see, if you enable this policy setting, it does not send any information. So go ahead and enable now the other one we're going to disable and that is the display error notification so once again if you read you can see if you disable you're not notified so we'll click disabled a little backwards but if you haven't used group policy editor much you'll know that you really have to read exactly what the message says so if it says display error notification it literally means enabling it displays the error disabling it disables displaying the error. Does that make any sense? It does after you do it a few times. Now, we should also mention Windows 10 Home and Student. You're not gonna have Group Policy Editor. It's only in Windows 10 Pro. I think it's server. But here's a guide that you can click if you follow this link right here. And if you really, really wanna play with Group Policy Editor, because it's kinda cool and neat to have once in a while. And I have a broken link, so I will guess I'll fix that before I put the video up. But you'll be able to click here and follow this guide. I can see it's all messed up down below. I will fix that link. That looks really good for us. And if you really, really want to enable it, Windows 10 Home, you can. Finally, RegEdit. We left this kind of short and sweet. What you can do is press the Windows key plus R again and type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T for RegEdit. Press OK. And the easiest way to get here is to find this code right here, short of the period there. Right click and copy it. Come back up to your registry editor. Let me close group policy and clear that out that's your search bar control v to copy paste press enter now if you want to back it up before you start just right click and click on export the key name it anything you want ending in dot reg so you can name it whatever dot reg and then you can put it anywhere you want in this way if you have a problem with your registry you can actually just double click that file i just saved which i can show you here quickly Came on. Documents, 
there it is, whatever dot reg. So you just double click that. You'll get a warning. You'll get a second warning and it'll restore. So if you have any problems, don't forget to back up. Another neat thing you can do with this is let's set the key up. If you have a disabled key here, you're all set. If you're not, you need to do a new D word 32 bit value and name that disabled. Press enter. Now double click on disabled change the value data to one and click OK. Now, one of the reasons people might want to do this, if you're curious, you're going to need to reboot, by the way, is that you can actually export this key now. So if you want to mass deploy it across a bunch of computers for whatever reason, you can once again right click, export, and save it as, I don't know, uh, disable error reporting dot reg. And now you could actually take that with you and put it on other computers. Typically, if you're doing it on Windows 10, you probably want to stick to doing it with other Windows 10 computers. But it's just a neat way to use it on other PCs. So there you go. There's a few different ways to disable the error reporting service. So you're not looking at it hanging every time you see it for a minute. So that's about it, guys. Thanks, as always, for watching. And girls, I hope. Uh, click like. Subscribe. You know the drill. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.